Hello everyone, my name is Floppy and welcome back to another episode on the Mythic SMP server. As you just saw from that time lapse, we did a little bit of work on the portal behind us and I added a little bit of a cool little waterfall system. So I really like the idea of having a waterfall. You guys, most of you voted for uh, some kind of waterfall over the portal. Oh, and he just activated it. Perfect timing, thank you. So yeah, this is what we came up with. I wanted to add a little bit of a stream, like a little hole right here so you can actually get through to here. And this is actually a cool little system to know whether I'm at the base or not because if I step on this pressure plate to go into the portal, it will activate this and I, you can know if I'm actually here. So that's kind of cool little thing. And also if I want to turn this off, I can just hit this button. And there we go. It works like a charm. So this thing is super cool. And I actually also want to build another waterfall sort of stream that goes onto the side here because this rock face is very, very plain. So I want to add something here to give it a little bit of a more natural feel because the whole sort of theme of my base is like really, really fantasy sort of like mystical kind of thing, which is exactly what I'm going for. So I think I want to add some kind of like stream, a beautiful stream that flows maybe from like the bottom of my foot or something down this rock face and then into a pond way down here maybe like over here or something so why don't we get started on a time lapse of that as well so two time lapses in one video let's go so natty just messaged me that uh he actually is selling passes gold passes for his gold farm and um i really want one i actually really do want one except the thing is 64 diamonds for a pass that is a lot of diamonds for four oh geez 43 minutes and 40 levels. That is not bad. Okay, you know what? Let's go buy that pass. Whoa, what the? I'm guessing this is it. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Uh, hello? We are in public voice chat. That's interesting. That's are you sure? You're in the VC. Hi, Floppy. How you doing? Oh, hi, Natty Ducks. Hi. It's a pretty noisy place that we are in right now. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, all right, I'll, I'll give you a pitch of this. Okay. Well, floppy, I'll give you a, a tour. Follow so, you. in this deal, you don't get any oh, of this. He's ball, mad. Right? He's a mad Enderman. He's gonna. He's angry. He's really. Oh, right. nope. There he goes. Anyway, in this pack, anyways, you don't get any gold from this. You don't get any gold from this. But you get 50% off at my gold shop, 24 carat. Hmm. When that comes out. And you okay. get full access to all the XP. Well, you know what? I'll take that deal. When you first told me about this, I was uh, a little skeptical. Like, really? <laughs> 64 diamonds for a pass? But then I come here and I'm, it's just levels for days. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to buy this. I made three stacks of diamonds today. How is this possible? <laughs> also, the jungle. The jungle people are coming in. All right. We're all just rich. What do you mean? Okay, anyways, let's get back to business and not be destroyed by the lag fest that is that farm because that thing just literally destroyed my computer and as you can probably tell i got like five frames per second that whole deal but that's okay because now we have a gold pass and infinite access to that farm so that is going to be real useful later when we need to mend up our gear and stuff all right so that didn't exactly go as expected but that's okay i decided to just finish this thing up uh i added a couple of rocks you know around this area to sort of give it like kind of rocky crumbling sort of feel and then i added some vegetation you know Gotta add the potatoes, of course, some sugar cane, all that great stuff. So yeah, that's what we got for our stream here. I think it looks really nice, actually, and it gives this whole place a nicer vibe. It just makes it feel so much more natural, you know, and that's what I'm going for, like a sort of natural overgone, kind of almost ancient ruins kind of thing. So let's head downstairs because I actually want to do an actual time lapse this time and I want to build part of my base because I got some prismarine from TC and I want to show you guys a time lapse of me sort of testing out some of the ideas and doing some of my base.
So at the time that I started recording this video, we actually had not admitted our new members yet, but recently, and like literally like yesterday, we got some new members, and Iron Lamer is one of them, so welcome to the server, dude. And there are actually a bunch of other people that are added, I will link them all the new members in the description of this video, so it is great to have all these guys here. He just gave me a Nautilus shell. Not entirely sure what that's for, but I guess I can hold that in my offhand. So, yeah, we got that, and so yeah, it's it's awesome having these guys here. It's it's really really exciting having all these new members. And Neko just joined the server too. Wow, this is so cool. Neko was the guy that made my banner, by the way, banner art on my channel. He actually made that for me. So big thanks to him. And he's now in the server with us. I don't know who Four Cactus is though. I'm I, I'm assuming that's someone's camera account. But yeah, this is this is so cool, man. It's so so cool. By the way. I gotta say, this water that's just flowing here, I took off my other texture pack so that you can see water flowing a little bit better, and man, this looks so nice, like the water just gives, it makes it look so much more alive. Okay, so Chill just dropped by and told me that she wanted to thank me for the elytra that I gave her, and she literally gave me 32 diamonds. So, like, I, I didn't even ask for it, she just said she wanted to pay me back, just dropped me off 32 diamonds, and lucky for me, 32 diamonds is the exact amount that Natty Ducks wants for his, uh, for one of these buildings. So these are the shops that he has built, and the shopping district that you can buy, and I just bought this one it's the perfect amount and before I could not afford it because I was broke but now I'm not broke so even put up these signs for me shop owned floppy so now I get to build whatever I want inside of here so that is awesome the reason I bought this shop is because I want to build a fish shop so I've been using my afk fish farm a lot and I also asked sky if he wants to use the fish from his afk fish farm for anything and he said no so I'm going to use our combined fish and to cook them all with the smoker that I built at our base remember how I built a smoker very early on in the season yeah we're gonna use that now and we're actually gonna use it to build to get tons and tons of fish for this shop with the arrival of all our new members they're going to need food very quickly because they are new to the server they don't have any kind of food so this fish shop is going to be very good for them because they need something to eat and i have so much food like i have stacks upon stacks of cooked fish and this is just some of it i have a ton more back at the base and once i get all the sky's fish i will have even more than i already have it's gonna be nuts so we are going to decorate this place and build ourselves a little fish shop Alright, so as you just saw from that time lapse, this is the design that we came up with. So it took me a couple of tries. I was, I'm definitely not used to this sort of build style. I honestly don't even know what kind of build style you could call this. I just kind of went with what I felt would look best for this kind of thing, you know? And and and. It's definitely not the modern design that the exterior is going for, but you know, I still kind of like it. I'm going to do a little bit more interior decoration later on. Maybe add some things, some fish or something like that at the windowsill. I want to have something right here that sort of displays what we're doing. So maybe I'll make like an aquarium or something. I feel like that would be kind of cool. We're going to sell cooked fish in these, and we're actually going to totally not rip people off by selling not cooked fish here and we're gonna call it deluxe sushi if people actually buy the sushi then I'm just a genius businessman so now that we have the shop built it's time to actually start stocking this with fish okay so I came here at Skyflyer's base right he's not online right now it's just me and a couple other people but he's not here and I realized that I have no idea where his fish farm is because it used to be over here but now there's a building on top of it and then I was thinking to myself how, where does he store all this stuff? So I've searched all these worker boxes, every single possible storage system in this entire base, and there is, are no fish, not a single fish in his entire base, which led me to think, where does he store all of his things? Because I realized that the things that he stores are basic building blocks, but he doesn't store that much stuff here. Considering how large his base is, 
and how far into the game we all are and how big storage systems should be, he doesn't really store very much stuff at all. So then that got me thinking, there's got to be some kind of secret hidden place somewhere in here. There must be some kind of secret hidden base. And then I remembered this from the last episode when we were pranking him. I accidentally pressed this button and I heard a bunch of uh, I heard a bunch of pistons and I was really really confused because I didn't see the pistons. I didn't know where they were. And so that got me thinking. I so I I played around with this, walked around here, seeing how loud it got, depending on where I stood in in this room and this whole area. And it's sort of in this area. So then I decided to sort of look under everything, peer under everything, see what happens when I keep pressing the button and looking very closely. And I found out that when you flip open this trap door and then you press this button, this happens. These pistons pull out and turn this into water, which is nuts. He has a secret base somewhere down here. This is insane. So we've we found Sky's hidden base, and and I, I don't even know. I I don't know what's down here. So I gotta be really careful. Hello. This is all a trap. Good luck finding us. Who's us? You'll die if you choose wrong. Choose right or left. I'm guessing this drops down. Oh, it drops down into water. This drops down into water too. So one of these has to be a trap. If I turn my FOV all the way down and then look down this hole, you can just barely just faintly see a little bit of string. It might be harder to see for you guys on smaller devices, but there is a little tiny bit of string down at the end of there, and I know that that string is for tripwire, which means that if I were to touch that string, I know for sure that water will go away and I will die. But on here, there is no string, so I think it is safe to jump down. Okay, okay, we're good. I was kind of actually a little scared there, like there might have been something else. So, what is around here? Whoa. Okay. There's a button there. I feel like that button's important. Hold on. Let's let's go down this hallway. Let's see if there's anything here. Cuz I feel like this place this whole place could be trapped. This is really really confusing. I'm not going to lie. This is a maze. Skyflyer built a literal maze. Okay, I can guarantee you there's no way that this maze leads to anything. This has got to be some kind of, of trap to, to lure people deep into his base. I had no idea this was on our server. This is crazy. So what happens if I press this button? <gasps> a secret door. Yes. No freaking way, dude. No freaking way. What? This explains what Skyflyer has been doing. I've always wondered, like, what is the man doing on the server? Like, not gonna lie, he he has only a couple of houses and stuff up on the uh, up above, and I've always wondered, like, how has he only built that uh, much of a base? Like, his base is really is it's great. I'm not gonna lie, but it it should be larger by now, this far into the season, and this explains it. He's been working on this the whole time. I'm guessing this is a way up. I don't even know. <laughs> this is crazy. This is like some kind of factions level stuff right here. There's redstone all over the place. I wonder what this is for. Oh, this is the drop shoot. This this redstone piston right here. I'm pretty sure that goes into this water and somehow gets rid of it. And and that's where you fall if you drop down into the the wrong pipe. So luckily we dropped into the correct one. But wow, this is insane. Now the real question is where is his actual storage? Because I'm trying to get my fish. And <laughs> all I want is my fish for my shop, dude. I, I didn't sign up for this. I'm not a secret agent. But yeah, all these chests, all these chests are, are empty except for a couple that have just junk and stuff. But other than that, everything is empty. And I wonder, this can't be the actual base. There must be more, right? Okay, where does this lead to? I'm guessing this is the way out. What is this? And it opens back in here. Oh! Wow, let's go explore this because we saw this part earlier, but I don't know where this actually leads. This is like, he has a huge, huge elaborate maze. Like what? Where does this even lead? This is nuts. This is literally a dead end. He, he's made dead ends everywhere. Like, I'm not even kidding. There's dead ends all over the place. Okay, so if you come from in this area and you come down here, and if this is confusing to you guys, because I'm making lots of cuts and things, that's okay, because I'm confused too. His base is literally enormous. Like, there is so much, so many different mazes and, like, elaborate traps and things down here. It's absolutely nuts. And if you go in here, this is a three-block tall underground maze that just winds and winds and it doesn't stop. And I'm pretty sure it's just, it just goes in circles. I'm, I seriously doubt it actually leads to anything. And so, yeah, this is nuts. He's got a whole maze just to keep people, like, what is he trying to hide down here? He's got to be trying to keep people from seeing something, right, guys? Like, there's no way he'd make all of this just for no reason. Like, 
Or maybe he's doing it just to troll us. <laughs> in that case, I definitely have been trolled. He's got this labeled food storage, but there's nothing in here. And he's got this labeled armory, and there's nothing in here either. So I'm assuming he's going to eventually build stuff in here. He hasn't even lit this area up. It's completely dark. So let's head back over to the light because it's a little scary in there. Before we leave, though, we just have to make some kind of sign that we were here. I wonder how much he'll freak out when he sees that I have been in his base and I found him. I hope this scares him because honestly, if I had an underground base and I just saw this here <laughs> I would I would seriously freak out but he'll know he'll know because this is definitely going into the next video and he'll see that I have exposed you Skyflyer I found out your deepest secret that you <laughs> make elaborate mazes and an underground base I get the feeling that there's actually more to this base and this isn't the only thing here because there's no way th that he made all this just for a measly like little storage system and, and a kelp farm down there like that's literally everything else that's here there's there's nothing else here so there's got to be something but we'll have to find out something in the future this is this video is already getting really long so unfortunately we didn't get our fish but we found something possibly much more important than just fish for a fish shop so i hope you guys enjoyed and sky if you're watching this i hope you're not mad at me for uncovering your base but yeah, that is all I have time for today, folks. If you like this video and you want to see more of this kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And according to YouTube, most of you guys aren't subscribed anyway, so it's free. You know, you can always unsubscribe if you don't like it. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Show me what you got You're always talking But you're not playing It doesn't match your face Gotta find my way